Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing another thrifty makeover. Before I start the project, I wanted to share with you the space I'll be working on. This is the space that I'm planning to be focusing on and um, particularly this area here. Um, at first, originally, I was planning to purchase a fake fireplace because I thought it'd be really cool here and yeah, maybe put some artwork right above it. But um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm trying to conserve funds and not spend really any money if I don't have to right now uh, just because of what's going on right now with the virus and you know, just don't know if I'm going to have a job later in the future, so I will be only working on what I have. I do have a few pieces downstairs, and I'll share that with you. I'm in my garage right now, and these are the pieces that I am planning to put upstairs, um, starting with this ottoman here, which I did a really good clean on. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace and the couple um, wanted 20 bucks for it. So I thought that was a great deal. It's actually really big. And these were also um, off of Facebook Marketplace and I got the two for 10 bucks. Um, Facebook Marketplace is one of my favorite places to look for secondhand items. Um, just FYI, be careful <laughs> when you're shopping. Um, and going to pick it up. Make sure you're always going to a public place and um, Yeah, and go during the day So I do have some paint on hand and I am only going to use what I have um, I already have a few of these so this will be The winning can of paint uh, so the other little table that I painted is this color and a white color. I don't have any white spray paint. I do have a small can of white paint, but I'm not sure if this is what I want to use. Um, I'll decide once I get started. I also have another um, thrifted fabric that I picked up last November. Um, it was marked $7.99 at Goodwill, um, but of course I got 50% off of that, so this whole thing was only $4. This is a curtain, like a heavy duty one, um, but I just thought the material would work great as a cover. And it's really pretty, it's kind of like iridescent. I would like to also put a painting upstairs. Um, what I'm planning to do is basically make a reading nook. So I'll put the ottoman, um, in the middle and the two little tables on each side and maybe a painting right above it. Um, this is what I'm working on right now. I don't think it will work in that room and I'm not going to be done with it by then. Um, so I plan to paint something very simple and I am going to try and have the colors to match the space. Um, the idea is the room is supposed to be like a little hangout area uh, for people to read or um, just extra sitting room. I'm gonna get started on sanding down the side tables. Um, there's big chunks of damage there and I have my little 3M sandpaper, so I'm just going to gently sand it down and then afterwards I'm going to clean it all up with my alcohol spray. Everything is nice and clean and I do have all of the pegs propped up and I've even found a piece of styrofoam. To help me with it so just grabbed it stuck it in so it'll be easy to paint and I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, I'm just gonna do the one color there's no primer mixed in this so I'm totally okay with that because this is an inexpensive piece of furniture so I don't mind first coat is complete and while I let this dry I'm going to go and start on that painting. 
The canvas I'm going to use is 24 inches by 30. <clears throat> I had a couple of these in the garage because um, in November they had a sale for Black Friday, so they were 70% off. These are actually pretty expensive and they're my favorite type of canvas to purchase. It's the same one I'm using here, just a smaller size. So I'm going to remove that and set this up. And the painting that I'm planning to do is off of Jay Lee Painting. He has a YouTube channel. Um, I normally do my own paintings, but I've used his uh, videos to help my niece learn how to paint. And it's very easy to follow. So one of the paintings that I'm going to do is this one. So his style is... I want to say quick and see how he just kind of dab the paint onto the canvas and then he'll like brush it out and it's very like I don't know impressionism is almost like impressionism um, but he even used like different tools like this here he's using a rolled up foil <laughs> Um, which is really cool. It kind of gives it the effect that um, it's an oil painting, but he, he uses acrylic still. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've chosen all of my paint. I don't have the same exact colors that he has, but um, I chose similar enough colors. And I have my coffee ready, so I'm going to be painting all day. I am all done with my painting and I'm so happy on how it turned out. I did make a few changes. I had the girl have shorter hair <laughs> to resemble myself and I think this will look great upstairs. Back in my garage checking on my little stands and I've already turned it over and um, as you can see here there's some areas that the paint didn't get to. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that and then finish these pieces and I think after another coat, I'll be done. It's the next day and a very gorgeous day. I'm probably going to take a walk later. Um, yeah, so this is all done. Next is my little ottoman. I'm going to do some measurements to cut out the fabric. So I'm gonna get started on that. I have my measurements here and I also have my fabric and so I just laid it out, it's already been nice and washed. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and just cut this piece off and that way um, I can stretch out the fabric completely. I have my fabric all laid out now. And what I'm planning to do is um, have the piece that goes all around just be one single fabric. Hopefully it'll be enough or be long enough because what I want to do is um, to have this be the bottom. Uh, since it's already stitched, I don't want to do any more work than I have to. So that's the plan. So hopefully it all measures out. I finished cutting the fabric and I also marked where I would like to sew. I wanted to give myself a seam allowance and I don't have a sewing machine and I don't even know how to use one so I'll be hand sewing everything so wish me luck. I am halfway through and I'm just doing a quick check 
um, placing it on the ottoman just to make sure how it would fit. I really wanted to check the corners really so it looks okay. And I think I did a pretty decent job sewing so far. Pretty much done with the cover here and I do have some extra fabric that I wanted to continue to use and I've decided to make some throw pillows and also a cover for a large pillow and they're here. Uh, so I have the body pillow um, that I'm planning to use. I already had this of course and this was um, a gift to Jacob but he never used it. So I'm planning to make a uh, cover for this and put it on the back of the ottoman to kind of make it look like a little couch. And I also have this uh, nursing pillow <laughs> which I bought thinking it was a neck pillow and which I still used as a neck pillow but it ripped because I washed it so I'm planning to use um, the stuffing from this to make the throw pillows. I've just finished cutting my fabric for my pillows and I'm really hoping that I can make two throw pillows but I don't think I have enough stuffing. Um, I did find a couple of these in my garage. This was a thrift store find too. Um, I think I got it for a dollar. I don't remember. Yeah, I got it for a dollar. Um, I don't remember what thrift store it was. It wasn't Goodwill. It was one of these smaller ones. I don't know. I can't remember. So I have two of these. So I think I'll be able to make one pillow. But we'll see once I'm done. And then I'm also going to be using this fabric um, that I used for my last project. So this will be the front of the pillow. And this was a Goodwill find for $3. It is the next day. I just woke up all evening. Yesterday I was sewing, which was actually really relaxing. I was just sewing and watching TV. And my little body pillow cover is almost complete. I just have to sew these together. And um, if I ever want to take it out, I can just always cut it out. But I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Once I'm done with that, I'll get started on my throw pillows. I've already finished cutting everything out. And I'm fairly sure I will only get one done with the stuffing that I have which is totally fine I'll still sew the second one um, and then once everything gets back to normal um, I'll buy some more because uh, right now I think the DIY stores and the fabric stores they are opened but they're only letting a few people in at a time um, I drove past I think a couple weeks ago and there was a huge line at the door so I don't know if they're only letting 10 people in the store and I really don't even want to bother with that I, I just have been avoiding going to any of the art supply stores and things so I'm really really glad I have all of this at home and it actually feels really satisfying to use all of my thrifted fabric that I've been hoarding in my garage um, so this is what's left um, of the, that curtain and I have tons more of this one which will be saved and used for future projects. gonna sew this up now and I think I actually will be able to do both pillows because I still have that pack left and half of this one I am all done with both of my throw pillows I'm so happy on how they both turned out I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together and uh, before I show you the end result of everything I'll go ahead and insert the before video
And here is the after. I am actually very, very satisfied on how this turned out. Uh, this definitely looks like a little couch now. And I love my little throw pillows and how they are matching in the back. And I've also decorated the space with things I've already had. So I've had this vase for over five years. It was a gift from a friend. And I had some leftover flowers from a previous project that I did quite a few months ago. Decorated with some of my books and my little wax warmer that my sister got me a few years back as well. I'll give you a closer look at what I did. So I basically just made a cover for the ottoman. So it's just easy to take off and put on and it does stay in place. Um, there really is nothing wrong with the actual ottoman itself. It's in great condition. Um, there are some wear on it and I'm not a big fan of a uh, pleather. So I just thought it looked nicer with a cover and then that way I can wash it. And then um, the back part um, is very thick, so it's very comfortable, so it feels like you're sitting on a little couch. I've also put up my painting, which I'm actually not too happy about. I think it looks okay. Um, I'm probably going to change it out. And as you notice, it does look different from... Um, what I showed earlier because I did heavily touch it up and I'll insert what it looked like before with its sad, sad, skinny little trees. Um, the reason why I wasn't happy with it was I just wasn't satisfied with the colors and then the trees looked unfinished. Um, as you saw earlier, I was following a tutorial and the um, tutorial he was using a smaller canvas and his style of painting, I am not used to painting like that. Uh, so I'm still not going to give up. I'm still going to continue to do his tutorials so I can learn how to paint uh, different ways. Uh, but yeah, so I'm okay with it now. I may change it out, but it looks fine for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun working on all these projects. Um, it's a crazy time right now, so I feel like if you keep yourself busy, it will help relieve a lot of stress and anxieties. Um, so please stay healthy and safe, and I'll see you next time.